parkour really gave me a place to belong in this world. So it's not only just a sport for me, it's not just an exercise, it's a way of life, a way of life, it's a philosophy that I live by. Parkour is a form of movement, it's a way of navigating your environment. The first roots of parkour grew with French naval officer Georges Hébert, who in 1902 coordinated the rescue of hundreds of people in Martinique after a volcanic eruption. After experiencing this, he realized that athletic skill must be combined with courage and altruism in order to be truly useful. David Bell and his friends loved this idea and soon practiced it non-stop. For them, it wasn't just movement, it was a discipline, a way of life. Their philosophy focused on self-improvement, both mental and physical, to overcome any obstacle they may face in their environment. What many don't understand about parkour is that it's not crazy people jumping off buildings trying to look cool. These people jumping from roof to roof aren't doing it for fame, they're doing it to improve themselves, to shatter what they once thought impossible. We find it very very hard now for the new practitioner who comes, because for them they see parkour as a media thing which can generate money and it can be a job. Parkour is really close to the show-off aspect, you know, do a backflip and perform in movies and stuff like that. This business aspect of it mm -hmm. exists. It can be hard for them then to have the, the right understanding and the right uh, approach about training. People do it with not the right intention. I think competition is dangerous for your ego. Most of the time people have the energy to go out and train, but they don't pay attention to, to the details. Uh, for instance, you, you have a certain distance to go to go quadrupedi, monkey walk. Most of the time, people will stop before the line. And the problem is that we have a misunderstanding of what parkour is, really. And it's not just about doing a backflip and impress your, your friends. You need to really think about what you're doing, understand why you are doing this. Do you know the origin? Do you know the spirit? how it has been created, how it was born. So we try to keep these values. It's a school of life. It's an art where we practice every day, and uh, uh, not only physically, but mentally also. I mean, we all want to evolve in our life. There's no point to be very strong in your displacement, but very bad in your everyday life. Be honest with yourself, face your fears, and share and, and help people and be human, you know? Question this.